Hello, and welcome to 12-Minute Meditation, a podcast from Mindful and Mindful.org that offers mindfulness meditations backed by neuroscience. If you've been practicing, you know that 12 minutes of meditation a day can yield benefits like increased attention, focus and creativity, calm, resilience, and compassion. The latest scientific research supports this knowledge. So on this podcast, we invite you to do your 12-minute practice with guided meditations from today's leading mindfulness experts. I'm Kylie Ross, Senior Editor at Mindful and Mindful.org. This week, Bubuafo offers a practice to connect with your brave heart. There are countless ways we can shift our world for the better, whether it's volunteering weekly in our communities, engaging someone in a compassionate conversation, joining an activist group, or creating art that envisions what positive change might look like and energizes us to get there. But that's not the whole story. We need to care for ourselves too. Healing and replenishing ourselves is part of the healing we wish for others. In this seated yoga practice, we cultivate the tools to nurture, strengthen, and give courage to our fearless hearts. You'll find this practice as a web extra to our Guide to Mindful Movement in the April issue of Mindful. You can find the April issue of the magazine now on newsstands, or you can check it out on mindful.org. While you're here, we'd love for you to leave us a review. Your review helps other listeners decide whether 12-minute meditation is right for them. For now, for you, here's Boo Boafo. As we explore today with our breath and mindful practice, connecting to our safe place, connecting to our brave heart. So I invite you to find a comfortable seat. I have a block that I'm sitting on. You can um, use a cushion, you can use a sweatshirt, whatever you have available. And if you're on a chair, that's also fine. So find a grounding in your seat. Find a connection with your feet to the earth. And start to feel your breath coming into your vessel, your body. Feel where you're breathing, whether you're breathing into your chest, whether you're breathing into your belly. How does the breath feel coming in? How does the breath feel as it leaves your body? Our breath is our source of life. I invite you to put your right hand on your belly to really feel and breathe into your belly. And put your left hand on your heart really feel the heartbeat, feel the breath in the belly as we honour these two factors that keep us in harmony. From the day we come into this body until the day we depart unconditionally. And when we can consciously tap into our conscious breath and a conscious mindset, release the hands to the knees, we are able to bring consciousness to our inner universe. So we live in a collective energy, right? We live in a collective energy universe but here we come into our internal universe the light the divine light within us tapping into that connecting with our indigenous nature and when we can take time to tap into that space we realize we can connect with the peace within. Start to lengthen the breath, taking a long inhale. 
and lengthen the exhale, taking a longer exhale. Our breath is our first form of nourishment. It's also our first form of cleansing. And when we can take a longer exhale, it allows us to tap into our parasympathetic nervous system. And that parasympathetic nervous system lowers our diaphragm, it releases our heart and tells us we're in a safe space. It allows us to take pause, it allows us to rest and digest. So really feel the longer inhale and an even longer exhale. As the exhale removes all that we don't need from our body. And the inhale embraces everything that nourishes us. And the same with our mind. What can you embrace in your mind's eye that lets you know that you're safe you're perfect with all your imperfections. And what can you release that does not serve your better good? Any fear, sadness, sorrow, release it. It's okay. We don't need to keep it in. We can let it out and make room for love, cultivate the tools that will nurture to strengthen and give courage. Breathing into our heart center, honoring our breath, Relaxing the jaw, relaxing the tongue, relax the space between the eyebrows. Soften the space between the ears. Connecting with who you authentically are. We have everything inside of us. All the courage, all the stamina, all the forgiveness, all the kindness, embrace them all as you step into your brave heart. Feel what it feels like to embrace the tools that serve you as you walk with grace. Inhale the hands up to the sky, embracing all that serves you, embracing it. Meeting the palms at the center, reaching the fingertips up high. Taking a long inhale, lengthen the fingers, and as you exhale, draw the shoulders down the back. The inhale finds length and the exhale releases all that does not serve you. One more deep inhale and on the exhale turn the palms out and follow the arc of that rainbow, your rainbow of life, until the hands are parallel to the earth. Extending the fingertips on the inhale and drawing the shoulders into the back on the exhale. So finding growth with the fingers and finding stability on the exhale. One more deep breath here. And on the next inhale, cactus the arms with the elbows parallel to the earth. The fingertips extended to the sky. Breathe into the space and make this minute adjustment. Bring in the elbows forward and the back of the hands back. Opens up the heart. 
Allowing ourselves to be vulnerable often helps us release what we don't need. Finding vulnerability is embracing a brave heart so that you may go forth with more strength, more courage, lengthening the fingers, feeling the weight of the hands, knowing that this too shall pass. As we walk through life, we often carry the weight of life, but we need to embrace and remember that peace is within inside of us as we carry that weight of life and that we must continue to nurture the peace inside of us as we face our challenges. On the next inhale, take a long exhale and as we exhale draw the elbows to meet at the heart center leading with the elbows and they meet at your heart center your love your kindness your grace even in tough love we find grace bowing the head to meet the divine, to honor the divine. Set an intention for your brave heart. Relaxing the jaw, relaxing the tongue, relaxing the shoulders down the back. Be with your practice, be with your breath. Be with your heartbeat, set your intention with love and kindness as your foundation and gratitude for all that you have now and all that is possible. Inhale that up to the sky and release it out to the universe. Take a half twist to the right, bringing that right hand down behind you and the left hand to the outside of the right knee inhaling finding length in the spine and exhaling twisting the rib cage the shoulders and the gaze over to the right the inhale finds length and the exhale twists a little deeper on the next inhale leave the left hand where it is Take that right hand high up in the sky through your rainbow of life all the way over until the right hand meets on the left knee or thigh. The elbows are crossed. Tuck the chin to the chest, tilt the pelvis up and let your heart shine to your spine as your shoulders open up. Breathing into that back heart space. Breathing into the shoulders, relaxing the jaw, relaxing the tongue. Softening the space between the ears. On the next inhale, coming up to a neutral spine, keeping the elbows crossed. Gently hug your shoulders, bending at the elbows. And tell yourself that you love yourself unconditionally. No judgment pure, unconditional love. We often look externally for love and the love is inside of us. And love is all encompassing, right? Of compassion, of joy, of forgiveness. Love comes in many shapes and forms and it all starts from within. How does it feel to tell yourself that you love yourself. Really feel it. You cannot give from an empty basket. So fill your vessel with love. Inhale that up to the sky, releasing it. And take a half twist to the left, letting that left hand come down behind you and the right hand come to the outside of the left knee. 
The inhale finds length in the spine and the exhale twists a little deeper. Twisting the rib cage, the shoulders and the gaze over to the left. Inhaling, finding length, and exhaling as you twist. Relaxing the jaw, relaxing the tongue, relaxing the space between the eyebrows. One more inhale, and exhale. On the next inhale, leaving the right hand where it is, lifting the left hand high up in the sky, through that rainbow of life all the way over until the left hand meets with the right thigh, hollowing out the spine, tilting the chin to the chest, tilting the pelvis up, breathing, letting the heart shine to the spine. Be with your breath, be with your practice. Where is your intention? On the next inhale, coming up to a neutral spine, stretching the fingers long, gently bend the elbows and clasp your shoulders. And I invite you to bring to mind someone or something that challenges you. And breathe love into that challenge. And if you can't breathe love into it directly, if you have a too big of an obstacle, can you at least begin to think of the possibilities of what it would look like if you could resolve that situation? What tools can you embrace for the better good of all? to embrace that situation. And then inhale that up to the sky and release it, detach from the outcome. And exhale the fingers all the way down through your rainbow of life, through your energy centers, all your colors and your glory, your brave heart glory. Just sit with that right now. May you feel love and peace. The light in me sees the light in you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for practicing with this episode of 12-Minute Meditation from Mindful and Mindful.org. I hope you enjoyed practicing with us. We'll be back soon with another meditation practice for you.